Hey everybody, it's time for another real life superhero debut costume intro and this time I'm debuting my actual sweatsuit with zipper, not a skinny jeans or I haven't debuted it on this um I haven't debuted it on this page yet, but and, but my but it but it is on my Facebook fan page, and that is my baggy my baggy sweatsuit with zipper with khaki pants, khaki and military pants. Um, yeah, this is an actual sweatsuit with actual sweat and jogging pants. Even though I'm wearing sweatpants and trunks with blue trunks, and the in this um shot, yeah, but this is the actual sweatsuit costume. I have multiple variations. Multiple color variations. Variations like an actual superhero. Like an actual cartoon character. Where you have multiple where you have multiple colors of the same clothes. The exact same thing. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. This is a brand new debut. This is a brand new debut real life superhero debut for various reviews, rants, and other other topics. So and I also debut a new song. Yeah, let me talk about that. Gotta give credit where it's due. Yeah, I've been watching a you a, a female YouTube user name what was her name? Um what was her name was Annie something. Her name was Annie Mellon. I think that's her name. Annie Mellon. Anyway, she react. She's known to be a huge Dragon Ball and anime fan, and she reacts to the Team Four Star anime and various other, various other, the Team Four Star abridged Dragon Ball abridged series and various other abridged and anime based um series. In in her specific video, she, in her video, she it as part of her outro she she debuted a song called something you can never own which is which is a free which is a free to use song i hope the people who create who who performed and created this song do not mind me using it in my um video video and that is the band is called netflix and they have a and they performed a song called something you can never own that will be the intro that will be the intro for this brand new costume. So, um, with that being said, let's get started right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
make the thing that you can never run. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn back to games, let my body show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch you turn this life into something that you can never run. Hey everybody, it's time for a similar yet new video at the same time. Yeah, this is another Doug rants on social, social, current, and personal events. This one is a personal event, as you can see by the um, title. This is my rant, I mean, yeah, this is my rant on my dad's wife and my celeb and my and my mock celebration celebration of her celebration of the karma she just received which I will reveal when I make my way onto camera and sit down there will also be at the end of this at the end of this video I will stop this video right here and, I, and immediately following this video, it'll and it'll be splashed together in one. It'll be splashed together in one full video. When this video ends, another video will another video will pop up, and that video is Doug's. And that video is not only my musical outro, but that video is is if you've been following me on Facebook, and I've even shared three here in 2000 in 2021 and that is Doug's mock you dance party where I do a where I do a um where I do a hilarious and offensive dance aimed at several in da dance aimed at several enemies of mine which serves which pretty much serves as a diss only it's dance instead of singing instead of singing or rapping a song so um yeah with that being said let me get started right now and as this is the only, right now this is the only dance this is the only rant and dance party celebration mock video however there will be several dance and mock party videos following this one aimed at various people so with that being said let me get started right now yeah, this is a rant on my dad's personal. Oh, this is a dad, this is a rant on my dad's on my dad's wife, who for copyrights will not be named in this video. But for any one of you, any of you who know me in real life, you immediately know who I'm referring to. Yeah, yeah. Since moving out here in 2019, since moving out here in 2019, I've been having problems with my um. I've been having problems with my dad's, um, with my dad's wife and my dad too, and my um dad too. But this is about his wife, who I hate um even more. I like fighting and I like bullying. I like fighting and I like bullying women because one thing I can't stand, one thing I can't stand more so than any other group of people or race on this planet. Because one thing I can't stand about women, especially Afro-American women is that because the society has their backs so the law is on their side these women become more arrogant more tyrannical and become more harder to deal with they become even bigger bullies than men than um than a man because of the power they will because of the power they will and they do all sorts of things that i that I would, that I will get either killed for, or get the living daylights beat out of me for, beat beat out of me for, and I'm really getting tired. And I'm really getting tired of it. And I've had multiple fights with my dad's wife, and and all of these were either draws or losses. I never truly, why felt good to stand up to her and, and stand up stand up to her, mock and argue and fight. You never, ne you never really won. You never really got what I wanted. She never learned. She never learned a lesson because she always had my dad. She always had my dad. She always had my dad to have her back, to um, have her back. But finally, 
finally, finally, finally, um, what was it? It was either, I think it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was last month, finally, she finally received her, um, she finally received her car, she finally received her karma for something that she did to me in 2020. She's done a bunch of terrible things since, 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 since I've moved out here, but the biggest one, it was in 2020, where, was in 2020 where in in retaliation in retaliation for disrespecting her in a fight that her and my dad started all I did was retaliate all I did was retaliate retaliate they took they took away they took away my um internet privilege they took away my internet privileges oh yeah they took away um my um they took away multiple privileges of mine including my internet, the most important one, the most um, important one, and wouldn't give it back, and wouldn't give it back until, number one, I earned it back, and two, my mom convinced him, my mom, my mom, um, my mom convinced him, so my grandmother, who I got on her for this, it was her idea to apologize for the fight and the things I said, I, I did that and got, and got, and got refused got nothing but my mom when my mom when my mom fought and came I managed to get I managed to get s some of the privileges back and my um entire future was dependent on the internet and here they and here they um here they um here they both um took it away took it away and would it um and uh, yeah they both took it away and would it um and um wouldn't give it back. Yeah, wouldn't give it back. So um, so um, since then I've been pissed. I've been angry. That's why you've been seeing multiple periods of long inactivity of no videos, no anything. Because above, I have multiple goals and dreams. But the number one dream, the number one goal that gets me out of bed is vengeance. Vengeance. If you see me on YouTube, you'll notice I'm always seeking vengeance against someone, a group, or something. I'm always seeking vengeance against something. I am a revenger, an avenger, just like Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto and Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Mortal, Mortal Kombat. I'm always seeking vengeance, always looking to even up the score, man, because that, above all things, gets me out of bed more so than anything that drives me, that drives me, that drives me more so than anything is revenge and I finally got my, I finally got my um, vengeance and that retaliation was my dad's wife, my dad's wife for the fourth time, for the, for the fourth time and the second time this year my dad's, my dad's wife was terminated and laid off of a job, laid off of a job. Now I would never mock anyone for losing a job po poverty and loss which is my number one worst fear is the wor is the is one of the worst things is one of the worst things ever and I would never wish it on anyone I would never wish it on it I would never wish it on anyone however and I would never mock someone being terminated from a terminated from a job however if you're a tyrannical a if you're a tyrannical a-hole like my dad's wife a bully a bull um and a um and a bully and a several and several other negative stereotypes with Afro Amer Afro um, American females and Afro Americans and people in general in general and especially if you try and sabotage my future. She tried to sabotage my future. She tried to tell me when and where I can get a job. When and where I can um get a job. She decided she 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 um she decided I didn't meet she decided I didn't meet the qualifications for a job before even before I even met with the owners of the various companies and the studios that I wanna work 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 um, work work with. She she who doesn't even work at any of these places decided decided I wasn't good enough. I wasn't good enough for a, um I wasn't good enough for a job when it's they who tell me the people who own these places or the people who work at these places tell me I'm not good enough to 
I'm not good enough to work there. But no, you had this woman telling me when, where, and when, where can I um, get a job more so. When, where can I um, get a job before the people who work at these places, the people who work at these places did. And for that, uh, yeah, I could never, I could never, I could never um, forgive anyone who does that. And anyone who does that to me, anyone who does that to me, who sabotage and tries to destroy my future, tries to destroy my future, I will violently, I will retaliate against you. I will retaliate against you and in this case and um and and another he, yeah and and the second thing she did was three weeks ago this problem has been settled but um 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 I accidentally broke my key opening opening the front door I accidentally broke my key opening the front door and up until my dad got the key out and I got a new key, I got a new key, which this took one to two weeks to do, I was stuck here at the house, so I couldn't go outside and patrol. I couldn't go outside and patrol. My other number one passion, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. It was from that, it was from that, and it was from that, it was from, it was, it was the 2020 incident from that where I decided I would never forgive my dad's wife and my life would be would be my life my life would be dedicated to evening up the score with this woman and I finally did because she was terminated for a job and watch this she was terminated four times she was she's 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 been terminated four plus times from jobs ever since I um moved moved out here that means she did that means she didn't meet someone else's expectations she didn't meet someone else's expectations and if you look at my dad's wife you look at my dad's wife, she doesn't meet no expectations. I predicted, I predicted um, back in June, her third termination and layoff from a job, I predicted that she would be, ter that she would be terminated and fired. I, that she, that whenever there is budget cuts, whenever there is budget cuts or downsizing a roster or where they, where they go and reevaluate employees, they they need and do not need. I predicted that my dad, that, that my dad's wife, would always be the woman. Would all would always be one of the people who is leaving, who is who will be fired, who will be laid off. And look, just just three plus months later, come October, my um um four four months later October, my predictions. My predictions came true, and just like Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat Annihilation said, it is glorious. It is glorious. Yeah, yeah. And let's and let's go back to those expectations. Let's see. Let's see my. Let's see. Let's look. Let's look. She might. My dad's wife is every negative stereotype with Afro Americans. Number one, she's white. She's obese. Number two, she's loud, arrogant, obnoxious, obnoxious has terrible has terrible and poor hygiene despite having all of the um all of the um cosmetics and washing products washing products and last but not least just doesn't know her place just doesn't know her place just doesn't know her place um in the world and will never truly learn will never truly learn the lesson to go there shut the hell up do not speak do not speak unless spoken to. Do not speak unless spoken to. There's a corner. There's a corner. You need to go there and you need to stand there because that's where people like her. But there's where people like her belong. Oh, and then not only is she all those things. I forgot the final one. This is the final one. This is the. This is and this is probably the most important one than the all the other ones I just mentioned. She's middle aged. She's middle aged. So yeah, what what use does anyone have for an obese? middle-aged Afro-American women. Yes, racism is intended with that. And Afro-American women. If it was in young women, it, it wouldn't be that much of a problem. But it's the worst type of, it's the worst type of obese woman. It's a loud, arrogant, obnoxious, Afro-American, middle-aged woman. The worst stereotype and the worst thing you can be. If you're that, when you apply for a job, 
you need to sh you need to know your role. Shut the hell up. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It work. It work. It was annoying when 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 my dad's wife was working. She she she. But that's another thing too. She always worked from home. That goes to show you. She always got jobs that work from home. That goes to show you. No one at the studio. No one at the building wants to deal with her. That they give her literal desk jobs. They literally give her literal home job so she's in the room right next to here she's in the room right next to here where I'm pointing she's in the room she's in the room next to me she's and she was always she was always talking she was always talking and she was always talking not talking about work and always engaging and talking like she's someone when she's when she's a nobody there and then you got these white people pretending pretending that this is a good this is the pretend pretending that this person is it, this person is a um this person is a great person this person is a great person when this person is annoying and I'm like and, and, you, and, and, I, and, I, and I can just listen to them wanting this uh, listen to those white people wanting this wanting this obese afro-american to shut up and get back to work stop stop talking to me man who, who the hell are you talking to me that's that's what their body language was that's what their body language was or their speech patterns even speech speech pat speech patterns when I would listen in and sometimes even go myself in the hallway and watch man it's just um it was just annoying so it was finally good to see her finally get humbled it was hilarious it was hilarious I couldn't even believe it that's another thing I can't stand too since he's in the room next to me when it's something terrible or bad or negative that affects everyone that I don't want to hear oh she's loud she's loud as you know what however if it's something important that I need to hear, that I need to that I need to hear, she'll be she'll talk quiet. She'll talk. She'll be she or my dad will be quiet as a mouse. This time, this time she was she was silent at first, but the second third time I made sure when she talked about well, oh or she said something about laid off. She came she came. It was a Monday. She came. It was a Monday one to two weeks ago. One to two weeks ago she came out here all cocky. She came to um she once again she came. She she got took her shower, got dressed, came up here all cocky, ready for work, only to find out <laughs> in the afternoon that she was terminated, that she was laid off of a job, that she was laid off of a job, that she was um laid off a job. Then she struggled, she struggled to get her um. Then she she struggled to work with her um. I think it's her case manager or her case manager, her know what it, what, it, what it is to reevaluate her employment status. It was hilarious. You went outside and I celebrated like no other. I celebrated so hard that I received my own karma for mocking someone else's misfortune. I ended up hurting my I ended up hurting my toe for a while and I ended up getting sick. And I ended up getting sick and I ended up getting sick. So I was too tired. Too tired too tired too tired too tired and came down with a cold too tired to go outside and do what I wanted to do, which was um, patrol, and I've faced several other forms of karma that I'll talk about in other forms of video. But uh, it was um, it was worth it to finally see that woman take an L, take the biggest L, take the biggest L of all time, four times. She's already getting ready for trying to get ready for the next job. I wonder how long we, whenever she starts this job. I wonder how long this job will last. Uh, yeah yeah but like I said like I said normally I would not celebrate someone being terminated being fired from a job I would not mock someone being fired from a job however when that person sabotages and destroys my future or tells me I I am not tells me I am not good enough for a job and when and where I can when and where I can um, provide for a job and do a, and, do, and do a bunch of other terrible things to do a bunch of other terrible things to me, I show no sympathy to the person, and I will mock and clown that person, clown that person behind their back here on my show, and if necessary, to their face. So yeah. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm happy right now. And after seeing this, you should see probably see more videos from me. But you haven't been seeing a lot because you've been. Uh, You've been ongoing. You've been dealing with a bunch of personal issues and problems, but you finally corrected this one and a bunch of others. So you'll probably see more videos from me from now on. So, with that being said, like I said, 
it's time for the next part of the video. If you don't want to see the musical outro and the dance party celebration, I suggest you turn the video off right now. finished for now. Now it's time for the musical outro with the same song. Don't want to sleep in cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well I'ma make hell of shit and I don't become you. Ha! Have no regrets outside of my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in bed. Baby, stabbed in the back bed. I'll show you what happens. Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action. I feel this pain you already know. Turn back to games by my money show. I got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run. I feel this pain you are. Turn back to games by my money show. I got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run. Oh, no. 